Hi guys, I'm Shubang from websitelearners.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a website in just 10 minutes. Now after watching this video you'll be able to make any kind of website just like this by using drag and drop. So don't miss this video out and watch it till the end to learn how to do it. Okay? So I'm Shubang from websitelearners.com and let's start making this website. Okay, so before we start you need to first click the link below this video. So I'm going to click this link and it will take you to this page. Now we're going to do this in just five steps. Okay. So the first step is to pick a name for your website. Now I already have picked a name, which is quicktechie.com. So I'm going to search for it and then click check availability. Okay. So now you can see that the name is available. So once you get the name, you can go to the next step, which is to get hosting and domain. Now hosting and domain are the two things which we need for launching our website. Hosting is the place where your website's files will be stored and domain is the name of your website. So to get hosting and domain, let's scroll down and click get hosting. This will take you to godaddy.com where we're going to buy the hosting. So let's click get started. Now enter the same name which you chose earlier. So I'm going to enter quicktechie.com and then click search. Now click select and continue. Okay, so this is our cart. Now you can see here that we're getting the domain for 959 rupees. Now, if we change the duration from two years to one year, you can see that we're getting the domain for free. So now let's proceed to checkout. Now GoDaddy will ask you to log in. So let's click create account and fill in these details. Now enter any four digit number for the pin and click create account. And then continue filling these details. Now choose your payment option and click continue. Okay, so guys, this is going to cost us around 99 rupees per month and the plan will be valid for one year. So let's place the order and make the payment. So I'm going to quickly complete the payment. Okay, so now we have completed the payment and we have got a domain and hosting. Now let's go to the step three, which is to install WordPress. Now we're going to use WordPress because it makes it very easy to build a website without knowing any programming or coding. So let's install WordPress. We're going to scroll down and then click manage WordPress. Okay. So we'll click here and then click get started. Now just select a domain and click next. Then again, click next. And now you need to enter a username and password for WordPress. You'll need this to log in into WordPress. So I'm going to enter my name and password and click install. Okay, so WordPress is installed. Now let's click get started. And then click no thanks and okay. Okay, so this is a WordPress dashboard. Now from here, you'll be able to control your website. Now, if you want to access this WordPress dashboard again, you can just simply go to your website address and type slash login. Okay, so once you reach your dashboard, this means your website is live. So to check that, let's go to our website address and press enter. Now, as you can see, our website is live. So this is how the default site looks like. So next, in order to easily edit our website, we're going to install a new theme. So the new theme is called Astra. So to install the theme, let's go here and click themes. Now click add new and search for Astra. So we're going to install this theme. Just click install. 
and click activate okay so the theme is activated next we're going to install a plugin which comes with this theme so by installing the plugin we'll be able to easily customize our theme so to install that plugin let's go to plugins and then click add new now search for a plugin called astra and then install this plugin so we we'll click install and then click activate so the astra sites plugin is now installed now this plugin has a set of designs for your website which you can choose and then apply it to your site so to see those designs let's click see library so these are the designs now before you choose a design just click elementor this will make it easier for you to edit the design so click elementor and now you can choose any design you like so i'm going to choose this design and you can see how the site will look like if you want to apply this design to your site just click install plugins and then click import this site now the design and the demo content will be imported into your site once is done we can now see the site so let's click view site okay so as you can see the demo has been imported into our website and this is how it looks and you can also see these other pages which also has a demo content so once i've got the design into your site you can now go to the final step which is to edit the content so to edit any page of your site you just have to go into that page and click edit with elementor so let's say you want to edit the home page you just simply click home and then click edit with elementor and now we'll go into this editing section so let's say you want to change the text here you just select that text and then start typing anything you want so i'm going to type hi welcome to my website and now if you want to change the text on this button you just click here and change the text on this button here So the same way you can edit any text you want on this page. Just select the text and then start typing. So this works out throughout the website. Now if you want to change this image, you just click it. Select the image here and drag and drop your image. So once you are done with the changes, you can simply save the page by clicking save. and all your changes will be saved now you can view the page by clicking here and then clicking view page so you can see that all the changes are here okay so now you know how you can edit any page of your site next we're going to see how you can change the header or the footer area of your website now by using elementor you'll be able to change this part of your website but if you want to change this area which is the header You can do that by going into the customize option. So let's go to customize. And now you can see that there are some blue icons. Now if you want to change the logo, you just click this blue icon and you can change the logo here. Now the same way you can change the menu section by clicking these icons. So everything can be edited by using these blue icons. and this will be same in the footer area also so let's say if you want to change this text you just click this blue icon and start typing anything you want once you're done with the changes just click publish and they'll be published on your site so now let's close this and let's go back to our site okay so we saw how to edit the header and the footer area now what if you want to add a new page it's very simple 
all you need to do is you need to go into this new and click page now let's say you want to create a service page for a website you need to first enter a title and now to start creating a page just click edit with elementor so now it will take you to this blank section and now you have two options to create your page first you can either use this elements which are over here and then drag and drop them into this area so for example if you want to add a heading you can drag and drop this element here and then enter your text and to add an image you can drag and drop this element so drag and drop here and start creating your page now the other way to create your page is by using templates now templates are ready made pages which you can import into your site so let's click add template and you'll find a lot of designs here now if you want to use any design simply click it see how it looks like and if you like it just click insert to get it into your page and now you can see that we have got the design into our page now again like we did before you can change anything on this page just by selecting it and typing anything you want this is how it works once you're done with the changes click save and view page that is it guys this is how you can add new pages to your site so now you know how you can launch your site by getting domain and hosting import the demo content and then edit it to make your own website so if you're ready to start making your own website just click here it will take you to the page which we saw in the first step which was choosing your domain so just pick a domain and build your website i'll see you in the next video bye bye so if you want to also create a business email for your website you can watch this video we show you how you can do it for free